They are on the campus of Texas A&M. So are some Longhorn fans and the cadets of the Aggies. There'll be some 83,000. Can they tear up the Longhorns today? It's going to be a big task. The former president, George Bush, he is on hand today, but so is Vince Young, the quarterback for the Longhorns. And Reggie McNeil is going to have to be a cheerleader today. The starting quarterback will not be on the field for the Aggies. ABC Football welcomes you. It is number two Texas undefeated against Texas A&M. Can A&M pull a big upset? That is the question here at Kyle Field today. You know, when I met with Texas on Monday, every single one of them said, you know, it's a big game for us. It's just as big a game for A&M. A win today gives them bowl eligibility and will give Reggie McNeil, who Greg was telling us is not going to be able to play today, will give him a chance to get one more game. We are underway. Texas won the toss deferred. They are kicking. A&M will get it in the end zone. Jason Carter will decide to down it right there. Red-shirted freshman. He is from Burnett, Texas, 6'3", 205 pounder. There are the numbers. Let's see if they go to the air against a very good Texas defense. It is not just their offense, and they intend to blitz today with a young quarterback starting. They prepared this week for this. They're going to go after him. He's going to carry up to the 25, 27-yard line before he's brought down. And the Aggies wanted a late hit call. And uh, for the A&M Aggies, a lot of works are going to have to be done in the backfield. Courtney Lewis is their primary carrier. Jason Carter will be their primary receiver today. And they've got to have some help in this offensive line. These are the gentlemen who've got to stop this Texas rush, especially the blitz. So it'll bring up a second down and two. Martellus Bennett, Boone Stutz are both in the backfield. They send the man in motion. Morrow comes to the near side out of the shotgun. Short yardage. In the pocket, getting the big rush, gets away at the 15. Comes to the 20, the 25, 30, 35 and out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Hello, young quarterback. You do not want the Longhorns to have that football because they score so quickly and so often. They get the first down and 10 here on their first series. Carried off the right side and up for, for a couple of yards. That's Jaborski Lane. They've got Alexander and Courtney Lewis in the backfield. Three men to the wide side. There's the option play. What a pitch. That's going to be taken up to midfield and beyond in the Longhorns territory. Courtney Lewis. Stephen McGee will work out of the shotgun as they have the ball right at the midfield stripe for the Aggies. Straight ahead lane. He is a bull into Longhorn territory. Got to wonder, do they look beyond this game early in it? Well, we'll find out. Roderick Wright, he is a Lombardi finalist. He'll be up there in that defensive line. Their linebackers, Harris. 49 solo tackles he leads Texas in that department and this defensive backfield is as good as it gets Griffin and Huff are two of the best in the nation and they are very tough to pass against Gortness and Lane are both in the backfield now in this second down and four the Aggies moving the football early in this game the option again there's the pitch to the 35 and had he gotten by one he might have gone and a flag is down on Brian Arakpo the defensive end and I was watching that but right now, AM's off to a great start. Long way to go. Young quarterback McGee out of the shotgun. After the big penalty that cost him about six yards, that'll be thrown away over into the Longhorns bend. 36% effective in third down conversions, not particularly good. McGee back into the pocket, looking over the middle, gets the big rush, gets away, still in trouble. At midfield, we'll throw it on the sideline, and that'll be out of bounds, and another flag is down. Illegal formation, offense. Number 71 was in the backfield. The penalties declined. Good first drive, gone bad with a couple of penalties that hurt them. That's a good kick. See the bounce it takes right at the goal line, and it did go into the end zone. And today may be the day that decides whether he gets it or not. He has had one magnificent year, and look at that bottom number. 27 and 2 as they work it out of the shotgun and you saw how Vince Young was jumping up and down ready to go. Young is going to carry on this one to the 22 yard line. A two yard gain and they call themselves the trench hogs. They have uh, earned the name because they provide the blocking for these guys. Thomas a great tight end receiver and these this is one of the best offensive lines in college football. They block well. They are so comfortable together. Brings up the second down and eight. Looking to pass to the near sideline. Wide open 35 to the 40. And down up to the 45-yard line. That is David Thomas. Yep. Thomas is their leading receiver. 
The handoff in the wide turn for Taylor. Taylor, nowhere to go. Now we better turn forward here. Gets it back to the 35-yard line, and then the Aggies meet him, and he'll be thrown for a loss. But it could have been a lot worse. Defensively, a big task for AM today. Jolly, the tackles for a loss. He's their leader in that department up front. They're linebackers. They will look to get uh, Justin Warren active today. He's number one in the Big 12 in tackles. And with a broken rib back in the lineup today, Jackson Appel making the start. Got a big hand at the start of this football game. This is going to be a second down and a 12. The Aggies will put four down and fill it with linebackers on the fake. Young looking over the middle. He's got time. Now he's getting rushed. That's what he does best. He'll make it chase. Takes it up near midfield. Driven out of bounds, though, at the 48-yard line. 50.4% on third down conversions. They're trying for one right here. The zone 40, Young looking. Young, a lot of room in front of him. Dumps it off. Bad pass. Almost intercepted. A bad decision. He's a very great football day here. The kick by McGee. Back at the 10-yard line, and finally at the 13, Marquise Carpenter. It'll be Alexander and Lewis in the backfield with McGee. See if they can run another second good offense. The option instituted and not going to be pitched, and it'll be for a loss, and that is Michael Huff. And the ball is inside the 10-yard line, back at the 8 for the Aggies. It'll be carried again. This time the pitch to the 10. Good read. Up to the 12-yard line, a two-yard gain. Again, Michael Griffin. And then still drop back. They've got Mobley, Carter, and Franks all in there on this third down play. That one thrown over the middle is going to be intercepted at the 15-yard line by Drew Kelson. He is down with the interception and great field position for the Longhorns. Yeah, they were looking for Jason Carter on a wide receiver screen. 45 out of 52 in the red zone this season for this Texas team. Young back looking into the corner is going to float one up and it is going to be incomplete. Out of bounds on that one. They have converted so far in 15 of them. They try and do it again here. On the carry to the 15 yard line. Good work by the Aggie defense out of bounds at the 12 yard line. Tickered and converting. There is Thomas. We'll be out there third and five. They split the gaps and you saw everybody move on that. Offside number 42 defense. It's a five yard penalty. Short by one inch. Now it becomes third and inches. They've got Hall and Melton in the backfield. Second man through to the end zone. Touchdown. Well, that is Henry Melton. 6'3", 270 pounder. Takes it in. It is an eight yard run. Longhorns kicker puts it up and it is good. So you make a mistake against a team that has one of the best offenses in the nation, and you're going to pay for it. Melton gets it done here. The touchdown run. Longhorns up. Well, the Longhorns bowl their way to another touchdown. That went home, and that was after a turnover. AM will get it at the three-yard line. Jason Carter. Carter, a fine return artist, will get that one up to the... 23-yard line. Stephen McGee in. If you're just joining us, Reggie McNeil, the high ankle injury has kept him out of the game, not playing, not even dressed. And that will be carried by Dvorsky Lane for a couple of yards. Harris on the hit. A second down and eight. The Aggies with that option play. Big rush. Linebackers got in. He's way back at the 15 and wisely decides to dump that. Robert Killebrew. The ball did not get to the line of scrimmage. Uh -huh. yep. Loss of down, third down. I was going to looking for the quick in on the sideline. It is caught, and they get it to no incomplete. He dropped it, and maybe. Well, let's see. It's incomplete. Five. Boy, what a rush! And he's hit in a flag. A break for AM. It'll be roughing the kicker as the ball is down at the 45, but it's coming back. A big rush by the long and, and people go and they have a gate behind it. They bring in 64 Stuttered. He went to blow up the gate, but unfortunately he blew up the punter. And I'm old school. I don't like that swinging Neither gate protection. Neither do I. Can't had to get out wide. Five it's yards a five-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Ten, and they wish they'd taken the kick. That one is looped in the air. It will take an Aggie bounce, but it's not going to get to midfield. So they're going to lose about eight yards by taking the penalty. On Jamal Charles has now come into the backfield as he goes by. Young back under rush. Gets away. Tough to tackle. Incomplete. Had a man wide open at the 40-yard line. That was Charles. They are into Aggie territory out of the shotgun. Young in the quarterback draw. 
He'll bring it up to the 40-yard uh, line, and down he will go with the whole leggy defense coming in to get him. Marquis Carpenter let it. It will be a that he puts up for his team. Handoff up the middle, great blocking. That'll be down to the 25-yard line. Charles, he is a freshman who is averaging 77 yards a game. and talked about it all week. Get on the board, run the score up as early as you can. Charles trying to come back the other way, and he's going to be thrown for a loss. Johnny Jolly, three-yard loss. Jolly is their leading tackler. There's Young, third down, long yardage. They go to the flats, 30-25. And it is knocked out of bounds. And a nice job by Cosby. Vince Young out of the shotgun. Got a man open at the 10. And down to the five-yard line. That's Swede, the sophomore, who pulls it in. And they're there now. First down and goal. Carried up to the five. Touchdown on the touch is Taylor. Taylor takes it in for the TD, their second touchdown, and David Thomas, that wow. end again with a tremendous block. Taylor, a team leading 10th to touchdown. The extra point is up and good. Taylor takes it in easy, and this offense of Texas, the best in the nation, is off and running again. There is Taylor, 10 touchdowns. Johnson puts that kick back to the goal loss, handled by Carter. Carter trying to get some field territory for the Aggies will not get it back up to the 20. He'll be at about the 19 yard line where the Aggies will get it first and uh, 10. Regardless. They've done that all year. McGee back in the pocket tackled around the ankles completes it to the 30 up to the 35 40 and driven out of bounds at the 44 yard line. Jason Carter. Carter is their leading receiver. Courtney Lewis in the backfield with him fakes the handoff quarterback Keith McGee. Ouch. Did you see his head snap on that? That was Michael Griffin, who is their leading tackler, working out of the free safety spot, who just a second down and four here for the Aggies, looking to get into Longhorn territory. Back looking, McGee wants one. He's got a man open. 15, caught, no, and complete at the 10. Daquan Mobley, and that ball's going to be caught, even with Aaron Ross. Third down and four for the Aggies. Trying to keep the ball... Uh, on their side of the field, quick in pass completed, first down. Take it down at the 39-yard line. Little slant in for an 11-yard gain. And they're going to try the flea flicker. Looking into the end zone, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Incomplete. About one step out of the way, Jason Carter, the intended. Haven't seen a second down and a 10. Fake option. Move it. Got some room. 35 inside the 30. First down, down to the 25. Courtney Lewis. Lewis, their leading rusher, averaging 86 yards a game. With the ball at the 35-yard line of the Longhorns, the Aggies need one here on the option again. Young quarterback's going to run it. He'll take it down to the 20-yard line as McGee gets hit by Michael Griffin. He gets a five-yard gain. Even McGee, again on the option play, turns it to the inside and wisely holds up a little bit. He's got to have another first, uh, get a gain of eight on that one. The pitch comes back, and that's Lane, and that's what we were talking about. He just does not have the speed to turn it. Babino moved in. Rashad Babino on the hit. They send that man in motion to the left side, looking to the corner. Got a man open, and incomplete. And I mean wide open for almost the entire route was Bennett. And our tape people. Thank you for a great year and happy Thanksgiving. That one's got to be blocked at the 15-yard line. Bobino got his hand up on Well, we saw Vince Young, the fourth-year junior. 31-yard field goal attempts. Pegren is on. He can kick him 14 out of 18 so far on the season. That one uh, is up. Had to go to the left side, and he got it there, and the Yankees are on the board. So he is now 15 out of 19. 307 points now in his career. It's what he's put up. That is sixth all time in the Big 12. The far side and not very well. It goes out of bounds uh, somewhere between the 20 and 25 yard line as they kicked it from the right side of the field over to the left side. Young looking downfield and that is intercepted at the 50, 45, 40 and down to the 35 yard line. Melvin Bullitt. A deflected pass by Appel, and then it was hauled in. What thrown all along? Caught at the 10. Touchdown! Jason Carter. Mercy. Go 
Don't want to do that either. A bobbled snap. So they get the touchdown. We'll see how the snap figures in. It is 14 to 9. Fair catch called for, and it will be 32 yard line. This may uh, result in some problems here today as Rothbow is able to haul that one in. But and now the Aggie defense is going, watch this. I mean, this is the worst that the Longhorns could have hoped for in this game. The door is open. It's an opportunity for the Aggies. They're doing pretty well. We'll return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. You're watching ABC Sports Championship TV. Watching college football on ABC Sports Championship Television. There's some bump right there, but no. I'm looking. No flag. That was a Cosby, who was the intended receiver. When he cut back in, he ran into the defender. Young's got a lot of room to run, chooses to throw, and gets it at the 50-yard line. And into Aggie territory, Cosby got that one. Red-shirted freshman, 22-yard gain. And that'll be enough for a very big first down. He'll 45 and out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That is Billy Pittman. A nine-yard gain for Pittman. And for those around the country that if you haven't seen Texas play this year. And they are. They're going to pin him for a big loss. Taylor had nowhere to go, and again, Johnny Jolly, who's had a tremendous first half, moved in for a seven-yard loss. Down the near side. Oh, that could have been intercepted. At the 35-yard line, that was Danny Gore. <laughs> Looking down at Mother Earth, wondering, how did I not get it? You know, we... we yard line right on it, Marquise Carpenter. Carpenter's got it. The Aggies get the football, a 30-yard kick. Keep in mind, this Texas team's number two in the nation. They are in time. There's that pitch, dangerous up to the 20-yard line and the 20. I'll tell you something, you're, when you're a young quarterback, first start Stephen McGee, and you're asked to run this, you've got to make some quick decisions that you haven't made the five, and he's down at the 29-yard line. He's got a first down, a seven-yard gain. When he handles the football, this crowd here literally stands up. Brian Orbago moved in and put the hit on him, and he is going to be tagged for about a yard loss on that. Watch this one man to beat, gets a block, and will be brought down at the 22. A 48-yard run by Stephen McGee, who's trying to turn a miracle here at AM. Texas had that one lined up. One yard gain. Michael Griffin again moved up from that uh, free safety position with a hit. Boy, he'll get some yardage, but only up to about the 16 yard line, a gain of five. You know, that there's such a difference for a quarterback being second string and coming in off the bench like he did against Oklahoma. Touchdown! Brandon Leon, who just came in for the injured Courtney Lewis. 16 yards. There's a flag in the end zone. Unsportsmanlike, number 21. Now, Texas should take this the on the try. Enforced on the succeeding kickoff, the touchdown, good. Little uh, excited as Jaborski Lane could not hang on to it, so they go for the two-point conversion and don't get it. So they've missed a point after and a two-pointer. So now you're chasing that that one point for the rest of the game. Yard line up to the 40, 45, and out of bounds. That's Taylor who takes it out of bounds, and the Longhorns have it back. Well, when you get into these kinds of games with great rivalries, Coach Friend, what do you expect to see? It is recovered by a &M. Unbelievable. On the very first play, they turn it over. And nowhere beyond that. Maybe a gain of one. Leon on the carry. Let's get out of Vince Welch. Well, there haven't been many pep talks needed for this Texas Longhorns team. This the loss is going to be on this one. That is Robert Killebrew who drove in, put the head down. The fight for the football goes on there. But it is going to be A&M with a recovery as Lane got on it, but a 22-yard loss. And he'll be taken down at the 38-yard line, nowhere near the original line of scrimmage as no oh, and Killebrew hit him. And that's a, that's a good call. Les Caney, you know what? You're, you're so backed up. He'll gain a couple on the return, but no more. These Aggies are fired up right now. 43-yard kick, three-yard return. Listen to the score, A&M up by one. And into Aggie territory, Taylor. Taylor on the carry and a big first down, 30 yards on that one. 
Well, you got a gain of about four on that one as it's hauled in by David Thomas, the tight end. Our athletic trivia question. The Longhans currently ranked number two in both football and basketball. He has had uh, limited carries, surprisingly, today. Only uh, three for 18 yards prior to that one. Warren the hit. Boy, they drive him out of bounds, just shy of the 15. Melvin Bullock. And uh, boy, he went down hard over there on the sideline. A 21-yard gain and gets right back up. Back at the 27-yard line, Chris Harrington, his fourth sack of the year. And a 10-yard loss. A&M, it's loose. A&M signaling they think they got it. The officials say no, it's the other way. Wow, that was sweet. The split in for Ahmad Hall, the fullback. A 14-yard TD catch. Linebackers just absolutely did not get into coverage. Justin Warren, everybody's up near the line of scrimmage showing blitz, and they just don't get back. Ed. Undefeated for no reason. They go 77 yards, seventh place, took 244. Hall takes it in, touchdown. No broken rib and about four other injuries, but as he and his coach both put it, there's no way I'm not playing today. And could not breathe. He went out to warm up for the Texas of the Aggies. Carter will move it up over the 25 to about the 27-yard line, where AM will take over. First down at 10. Let's take a look. Civic Life game summary. Well, I don't think anybody watching. Trying to move those linebackers and cornerbacks in to open up that outside again. Seven-yard gain right there, Javorski Lane. Coming up, Capital One halftime show. Craig will be uh, joining them. A bull move right there, I'll tell you, and that's a first down. The third effort carried Robert Killebrew. And they get the first down. That's Javorski Lane. He can run. <laughs> well, Javorski Lane doing the carrying. Killebrew, two of them are getting to know one another very well. How, how excited do you think they are in Happy Valley right now? Penn State number Takes it at midfield. That'll be a first down if they mark it where the ball was caught. As Daquan Mobley. And it is a first down. They and into Longhorn territory, 45, and a good gain on that one by Bennett at 6'7", 248. You better not tackle high on Bennett, a six-yard gain. Near the conclusion of at the five-yard line, that is Kerry Franks. That is the third time today McGee has had a receiver pretty well open on a long ball. He hits the marker and is very, very close. McGee knew where that marker was, and he went for it with his helmet. You know, Craig talked about it at the open of the game. Line of scrimmage this time, though, and a big rush put on by Frank Oakham, a freshman All-American out of that nose tackle. A couple of steps taken. It'll be a six-yard gain for Pierre Brown, his first reception. Terrell Brown reached in and almost picked that one off incomplete. Well, and you are, this is a tweener distance right here. The kick is up, and it is going to be short. No mm. good. 51-yard attempts do not get a point out of that drive with 55 to go before we get to the half. So, with Texas a couple of timeouts left, Mac Brown's got time for his offense to operate. I really think, nice play by Jackson Appel, I really think the A&M coaches are out thinking themselves. Listen, I know it's been a difficult year. And Michael Bennett, Texas has timeouts to work with. They've got two left if they want to use them. A 13-yard loss on the sack. And Gray <laughs> County's team has just been magnificent. Let's get out on the field. Vince Welch, Vince. Gary, I chatted with Mac Brown as he came back on the field. He said he was a little bit surprised at uh, the fact that AM has run the option as much. Ed Bryant. Jasper, Texas, 325-pound sophomore. That is the third sack today of Young by the Aggies. Dead last in 1A football in pass defense. That's that timing again, throwing mm -hmm. on rhythm, with rhythm. Vincent Young is so much better when he throws with rhythm. And it's Rick
got pancake Michael Griffin again moved up on the hit and you see his ah, oh, there he is boy look, at, look at that and listen to this crowd reacting that's a oh, oh mama an 11 yard touchdown run We're looking at the future of Aggies football it's over by Texas results in the touchdown run of Stephen McGee and a one point lead for the Aggies. Fifteen Stephen McGee that is his first rushing touchdown for the Aggies after that turnover two plays 15 yards he went. For the TD 56 take a look at how it came about well there was rumblings in the locker room about how much the team was looking forward to seeing Stephen McGee give this a shot nothing against Reggie McNeil but Jackson Appel just bumped him about three yards before the ball got there very good throw and again it's on time and, and, and earlier pass it, interference defense number 19 15 yard penalty the yard line after a gain of seven Swede on the catch Regarding Jackson Appel, his coach had this to say about that man's strength. That's right now. There'll be no gain on that one as they spread it out and he was in it again. And, and you know what? The Aggie defense has to really maintain. Swede had to fight off the defender. He ends up with a six-yard gain. And Lima Swede is a young man with a ton of ability. Of course, he chose to wear the number four. And I'll tell you something right now. This is not Vince Young's game. No. This is not one of the better games he's played. He's struggling in passing the football, and he's struggling finding some room getting out of the pocket into Aggie territory. 46 yard line, a seven yard gain. David Thomas, the tight end. Texas coaches say that when it's a big play that's needed, you don't necessarily look at the book and so whether or not he got the first down. Melton is a short yardage man, that big 270 pound freshman, true freshman who kept the punter McGee in, but they had Rashid Babibo in, and he took that ball, and now we got to see what the flag was. And I think it's valid, but I think this is the right call. Good job by the kicker McGee. You know what a statement by Mac Bill Cosby. Ron Crosby, the freshman taken down by Gore, it'll be a nine yard gain. You know, when I was in the NFL, there, there was a lot of talk in locker rooms about, you know, there's certain coaches. But that will bring up a first down and goal after a gain of seven. Keep in mind that this offense you're looking at of Texas has averaged 50 points a game. Good block by uh, Will Allen up front, and the Longhorns are back on top. And that's what a running play looks like against a tired defensive line. Just nobody coming off nope, the blocks. No, nah, they're nobody just, they the just uh, Nobody comes off the blocks. And you 28, 22 in the third. Us. Two touchdowns for Taylor. He scored three against Baylor this year in a ball game. He rushed for 105. He's starting to move up into that category again today. And he puts him back on the line. How tough is it to play against a potential Heisman winner in Vince Young? David Thomas of the Aggies. More than anything, he just brings a, a quiet. Because that was an answer drive by Texas. They were down. The momentum was clearly. On the side of a and of the call, the fake moved in to lead the charge right there for the Texas defense. Well, I remind you, if you see a great Pontiac game-changing performance today, no. he felt that one. Stephen McGee, he's taken a couple of shots here in the second half. Well, that was a quarterback draw. If it was third and 20 or 25, Griffin. A 10-yard return after Michael Griffin put the block on. And this is that swinging gate. They're just going to come up there and blast it. The punt and Griffin. Touchdown. That's your big help special teams. They're in yard line or so. Back of the 15, I guess, where they'll take over. Let's get out of Vince Welch. Vince. Well, Texas free safety Michael Griffin, who blocked that punt, he's an animal lover. Number one rusher, 90 yards in the game. You know, you were just talking about the depth of the program. That helps your special teams. Michael Griffin 
He didn't even play defense. Inside the 30, Javorski Lane, who has thrown a touchdown pass on an option play, he gains 30 on the right. It all starts with the adjustment of the formation. They've had eight in the box in the last series. The leading rusher for AM was injured early in this football game, so Javorski Lane and Brandon Leone have had to come on and share the duty. Effort to get the first down. Leone again on the carry and a five-yard gain. And you know what? The blocking on the outside by the wide receiver, Daquan Mobley, was awesome. And, and now... Picks up a couple of cornerbacks for a 16-yard gain. You know who's licking his chops right now? <laughs> Pete Carroll. <Yeah. laughs> Their short yardage carrier who has nine rushing TDs coming into this game. Killebrew on the hit. I've got two words for you. Martellus Bennett. Amen. But you know what I did, Ed? I walked across it. No! No! One yard line. Stephen McGee reached, trying to put it into the end zone, but did not get the ball over the plane. Gary. Good job by Larry Dibbles. You got my calf sore over here. <laughs> Listen, you caught it. I'm a... A one-yard run. It is his second TD. And regardless of the outcome of this game, this young man is writing an amazing opening start script. And he's down to numbers. He sees numbers that he can yep, run. Absolutely. And, and the backside end, another freshman, Arakbo, he's got to get up the field. How many times do you hear coaches yelling at the backside defensive end, son, stay home. Stay home. You can't make the play anyway. More great football. We're going to take you to Boulder, Colorado. They've got a chance to clinch the Big 12 North and earn a spot. And the Dillers having himself a big day, 23-yard gain. He's already got two touchdowns. You cannot coach speed, can you? <laughs> and, and speed, I don't know. You tell me. Reggie, Reggie, no. you Deep into Aggie territory, I'm out all. Only one reception prior to the day. He's got one for a touchdown. He gets another at a 25-yard gain. The BCS standings that will determine the teams, the two that are going to be playing in the rear linemen, especially defensively, they are struggling. Selvin Young, who hasn't played much, that's a fresh set of legs and seen that play run a lot today. They get seven on that one. But you notice that the Aggies, they definitely want to get the ball out of Vincent Young's hands. 43 comes in and smacks Young. And as Taylor had nowhere to go. Big time rush put on by Michael Bennett. Straight ahead. I guess. Stay the Watching college football on Sports Championship Television. A lot of shuffling going on here as we start the fourth quarter. Kind, and that's a big kick here to start the fourth. So Texas looking to remain undefeated. Extends that lead 37-29. AM asked to respond again. Yankees will take over as Kelson had the hit. And the last drive, the Aggies made the adjustment with their formations. So they were able to get the Longhorns out of the eight-man stuffed up box. About this week, as far as the games were concerned, was getting to the fourth and being able to be in it. So, gentlemen, they've gotten that far. They've gotten to the fourth quarter. and Continues to be their primary ground gamer. He's closing in now on a 100-yard rushing game at quarterback. And still number one. That piled up on him. Take a look now at our Dr. Pepper Big 12 thought it might have been intercepted it's incomplete incomplete as that one got bounced as Carter went diving watch him seven and you start to have mistakes you know illegal procedure you've got holding you and Man, he's over a hundred yards rushing in this ball game now for the Aggies you, you mentioned Martellus Bennett Did you see the box out? he's a he's a fifth <laughs> basketball skills <laughs> Number three, oh, Martellus man. Bennett on the side down here. You're going to see. Game summary. This is an offense for Texas that has gone over 600 yards three times this year, and they're playing against. You can't. It's a 13-yard gain, and it's going to be a first down. Mobley, a guy who came from junior college last year, he's actually Reggie McNeil's roommate, and that takes three or four guys every time to bring him down. Nine guys in the box, and they still run right up the heart of the Texas defense. Yep. Out of Spring, Texas, and an 11-yard gain. Leone, an unknown quantity prior to the injury today. There's a name we haven't heard you say much today, Gary. Aaron Harris. Mm -hmm. The middle linebacker. Now, granted, a lot of things were on the edge earlier in the game. but They've had problems. Boy, a and is just, you know, they're playing so well, and they're playing so hard. 
They just need to quit elves. There's that neutral oh, zone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you can see them right over the ball. A couple of them. <laughs> Standing regional action, one Eastern. Either Virginia, Miami, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, South Florida, Connecticut. At 7.45, ESPN will have... Roderick Wright, a Lombardi finalist, came in and knocked that ball away. And the biggest play of the game to this point is this one. Why, you know, great effort by Wright to get to the backfield. And John. Carrying the singular All-America Player of the Week update, we go to last night again. Pat White of West Virginia, 220 yards on the ground, two rushing touchdowns. He picked up the first down, though, in a 20-yard gain before he did so. You know what Ramones Taylor does? Not only does he make a defense tired, he has the officials out there running all over the field. <laughs> <laughs> they had zebras going. As Texas coming in, trying to remain undefeated and make their move towards that championship game, Nebraska, another color around him but white. You've got to make that throw, Craig. You know, set your feet and make the throw. Mm -hmm. You know, he bought time with his he, legs. But he almost didn't need to buy time. Yeah. The Marquise Carpenter, who leads his team in pass, and he gets another. Carpenter this... just jumps on the ball. You know, you, you see a lot of defensive backs that, that'll go and they'll... And... To the return man. He, the return man's got to be yelling to him, whatever their code is. For whatever reason, it was always Peter when I played. So I don't know what your that was. It was. But he wasn't calling it, and Danny Gore continued to block and ran into him. Texas thinks they've got the football back. If they do, it'll be the... It is Texas. Ryan Palmer. He's going he's gonna to have four, five, six Backwards plays. plays. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, he's yeah. going to get around the corner and be gone. Yeah. Well, Max said that. There's John. Well, we just want to remind everybody, Gary, that the second part of our doubleheader is coming up next. It's already getting a little contentious between Colorado and Nebraska. All day, and he had nowhere to go. Now we will get another field goal attempt with 7.55 to go in the fourth. And I think A&M needs to try to do something to block this. The Aggie fans know it. So do the Aggies down there in pads. This one's off. It remains 37-29. What eight guys up there around the ball? And they're just getting swamped. Courtney Lewis not in the game, so they've gone to the true freshman. Went to the same high school as Reggie McNeil. Luffenbecker position. Takes him down. More importantly, clock keeps running. At some point, they're going to have to go to that play action. It will. That's and, a great play. So... The Texas defense rises to the occasion. It'll Tim Crowder, who came uh, out of the game earlier, came back in and just put the head on. Yeah, he looked like he was just fine. He beat the left tackle right from the get-go. Down, Texas on top, 37 to 29. That one just a 22-yard punt. Texas today and some of the things they've done offensively. But the one thing that they've done right is special teams. And you hear coaches at ABC. Alan John will be a long showdown through the top teams. Ben Roethlisberger back from the injury, leading the Steelers into Indy. It remains first down. And while they move the football, we'll go to New York and check in with John. And then throws a strike. 50 yards to Benny Brazil. Those fresh legs that usually mm -hmm. come in and get you in the fourth quarter. And, and it's a Texas team. It's so deep. I think that's really probably been the, the number one obstacle for the Aggies. The linebacker took him out. Our Pacific Life game summer. Greg, you and I have a vote in the Heisman Trophy race. Now, we, we don't.